dairy farm. And when you live on a dairy farm, you have to learn a lot of really gross, disgusting things. Like when I was 10 years old, I had to learn how to pull a calf. Because sometimes when cows are calving, you have to give them a little help. So I was 10 years old with my arm shoulder deep in a cow's cooter pulling a calf. Then oddly, years later, my dad had the audacity to ask me why I was gay. I'm like, Dad, shoulder deep in a cow's cooter. Might have had something to do with it. Maybe. No, we really didn't call. We really didn't call women's vaginas cooters where I'm from. Uh, we actually called them cookies. Uh, but that might have been my parents' way of trying to get me interested. Because I do like cookies. I like them a lot. Uh, when I came out to my parents, my, my uh, brothers and sisters loved that. They were so excited. Because uh, that was the day that they could do anything and my parents didn't care. Like my brother called my mom one time. He's like, hey mom, just killed a man in Reno just to watch him die. She's like, that's okay, at least you're not like your brother. <laughs> and she actually did make me tell my grandmother. My grandmother was this old French Catholic woman, lived way up north in New Hampshire. So when I told my grandmother, she didn't say a word. She got up out of her chair, walked over to the family Bible, opened it up and erased my name. Which some people think that's horrible, but I think it's pretty amazing that she knew to write my name in there in pencil to begin with. <laughs> like when did she look at that baby and go, this one is not gonna go okay. This one gets pencil. <laughs> so I, I'm married, I've had one of those gay marriages people talk so much about, and um, I know there's still people very, very against that, and I'm cool with that. This is America, believe what you want. So why this is the greatest country on earth. People can believe what they want here. But I do want to let those people know they're against gay marriages. And us people in our gay marriages, we are just as unhappy as you people in your straight marriages. Just as unhappy. <laughs> it's true. And I'm married to the craziest of people, you guys. I'm married to a morning person runner. Which means I start my day every day at 5.30 with somebody hovering over me going, Hey, want to go for a run? Want to run in the sun? Come on, let's go for a run. And I was like, no, I don't want to go for a run. You've known me for 15 years. I have run exactly once in my life, and that was at a Filene's basement running of the brides. <laughs> run. Pretty, pretty white princess dress involved, and then I might, you know. So, uh, have you guys ever noticed if you're the only one that ever sees a miracle, everyone thinks you're crazy? But if everyone sees it, it's totally cool. Like, if we all saw Jesus on a French fry tonight, it'd be awesome. We'd be on Good Morning America tomorrow. But if you're the only one that sees it, everyone thinks you're nuts. Like, I was at the gym the other day, and the guy in front of me on the treadmill, he had a Jesus-shaped sweat stain on his back. So I ran up to him and was like, sir, take off your shirt, and I'll show you a miracle. Um, I'm now banned from Planet Fitness. <laughs> Judgment-free in my ass. They judge. <laughs> they judge a lot. Uh, you guys know who you're not going to judge? These next six comics, because they're going to be really funny. I'm going to get the show going. So get your energy up. We need some energy in this room. So I'm going to be bringing these guys up for the next little while for you. I'm with a pleasure to bring this first guy up. He's, he's a little tiny thing, which I like about that. He's very funny. Please welcome to the stage. Paul Land, wherever.